Igbo senator that kicked against Nigerians' breakup. The agitation for breakup of Nigeria has been one of the most debated issue in Nigeria as some minority groups in the south are demanding it. We are all aware of how the Biafran and Yoruba nation agitators have been using their means as via disposal to ensure their independence from Nigeria. The secessionist group whose leaders have been detained have tried numerous methods to split the country in two, but Nigeria's federal government has demonstrated that the country will stay one Nigeria as it was before. However, President Muhammadu Buhari and other lovers of one Nigeria have issued many warnings to those people which claim that the unity of Nigeria is unnegotiable. But despite all this warning, this group is still proving disobedience. These agitators, one part led by Namdi Kanu, wants Biafra at all costs. Another side led by Igboho wants something similar. They feel they and their people can no longer stay in Nigeria. They directly or indirectly incited violence with their speeches to the people and got detained for it. As these men... Kanu and Igboho are with Stryer. The president just made it clear once again that what they are asking for cannot happen. Well, at least not in his time. <laughs> Owele Rochas Anayo Okorocha is a Nigerian philanthropist and politician of Igbo extraction from Imo State. He is the senator representing Imo West Senatorial District at the 9th Nigeria Senate. He is also the former governor of Imo State. Rocha Sokorocha, the senator representing Imo West, also cautioned the Southeast against the agitation for Nigerians' breakup. Okorocha warned the Igbos would be the worst hit if Nigeria break up. Recall that Okorocha stressed that the Southeast should push towards fixing the country and not its disintegration. Okrucha was also quoted by online reporters Vanguard News that to have further said I am the dedicating this birthday to a united Nigeria. I beg you to pray and support Buhari's administration to tackle insecurity and restore peace in Nigeria. I plead with the clergymen to use the purpose to preach for the unity of Nigeria. Online reports disclose that Okorocha, who was troubled by the blood shed across the country, said, My heart bleeds with the killing of countless of countless, but it's not over with Nigeria yet, as there are better days ahead. <laughs> oh goodness. Let me laugh first. Okorocha is also talking. Oh, because now EFCC are not after him. So he thinks he can actually come and start preaching one Nigeria to us. Anyways, there is nothing bad in people preaching one Nigeria, but not at the judgment of so many people being killed on a daily basis, and they are still shouting one Nigeria, one Nigeria. Well, someone say that give them Biafra, let them kill themselves. Who cares? We don't need them anyway. It's not by force. The hate they bring, we kill them. Hmm. And someone say useless Aboki Boko Haram, we kill ye first. First of all. You, including your families, before everything, whether you like it or not, Biafra must be a great nation. Hmm. North and Nigeria have started killing themselves already. Example is Sokoto Market, a Southern Kaduna, and so on. Just allow us to go and kill yourself. We will like it like that. Okay? Hmm. Well, Igbo Jews are untouchable. Zoo country gives us give us a Biafra now. The time is over. Right. Hmm. Well, whatever the Igbos might lose when separated from Nigeria, Igbos will get its hundred folds within 10 years of independence. <laughs> Igbos don't bury money. We or we don't borrow money. We make increase with little, any little we have. Hmm. Well, Okorausa Rochas is not an ego man. His father is a Fulani. Anybody will tell na the truth to now go say in a Fulani be. Anyways, we don't know what Rocha is talking about anyway. I will say, I will, I will support him um 50% and also this 
uh, I will also disregard a saying with another fifty percent. So I will when he talks about uh, supporting Buhari, that is where I really got furious with him because Buhari is not someone who needs support of anybody because he doesn't even listen to anybody. So who is going to support such a person? If PMB said he cannot allow Nigeria to break up, his assertion is mere deceit because he the main brain behind separation by these leaders seriously if worry have listened to all these separatists when they were busy agitating if you had listened to them things wouldn't have gotten to the way it is now but his stubbornness and not listening to what the secessionists want is the reason why the country is where it is now the height of colossal parochialism we should beg someone who's who was not a citizen of any indigenous tribe in Nigeria, we should also beg someone who brought terrorism, jihadis, Islamization, Islamization, agenda, hegemonic, maniac, land grabbers, endemic, corruption, nepotism, mediocrity, despotism, hmm. Bandits and kidnappers were well sponsored and supervised by lunatics from Sahel, Somalia, and Sudan in Nigeria contraption. <laughs> well, he is an Igbo man, they don't joke with their property. If I were him, I would do the same. My brother, we are known for that. <laughs> well, please note that not all who claim to be Igbos are truly indigenous. Most of them are adopted. Their parents are of mixed tribe uh, okorauza ingige ingigeauza etc they are all of same extraction these people are pollution to the eagles and biafra <laughs> hey make i laugh first rest upon the god who can answer by fire he is the only one who can decide the end from the start hmm. well you have said it all we are not afraid of what we might lose Give us their friends still wonders. In development with just few years, you will see the egos are not killers of talent and progress. We are achievers. <laughs> Those who are benefiting from the failed system want it to remain like this. Those who are not benefiting want a change. And those who are suffering and agitating, may God help us. Hey, now wow, this is Nigeria. God is going to save us from it. On a daily basis, things are getting worse. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And the rich does not want the country to be restructured. They just want the country to be the way it is. Hmm. And those who la are lacking behind want the country to be, to be restructured so that they can also move forward. Hmm. So now who is going to win this race of this country as it is now? You can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.